Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, this is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to view all other sign placements, you can visit my main channel, Tarot of Light, which is below, along with recommended readers, um, decks used, my TikTok. Uh, the timestamps for this uh, video will be in the description box below and in the comment section below, okay? All right, so let's get popping for November 16th. As usual, I am completely unprepared. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start with cancer at 45 seconds. All right, spirit, tell me about cancers dealing with another cancer, please. Love messages for November 16th, please. Okay. We have the six of cups. We have the Seven of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Wands, and we've got the Empress. Cancer, I feel like someone here is feeling... Um, I feel like you're dealing with someone here who has thoughts of a past person... Okay, this could be someone younger than you. They have thoughts of a past person, but they're seeing you as an empress. Okay, we've got the five of pentacles under the deck. I feel like someone here is finally gaining closure over someone from the past. Like someone here is just kind of thinking about it and they're like, okay, that's over now. I need to stop thinking about it. I've met my my empress or my emperor, okay? So be patient with this person, Cancer, because all Cancers hold on to the past very dearly. It's not just, you know, them. You know, don't forget Cancer on Cancer, right? Okay? So, you know, this is somebody that was holding on to the past and they're in the process of releasing because they're realizing that they have met their person. So just be patient with this person. They're, they're, they're in the process of releasing, having closure, healing and moving forward. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer dealing with a Scorpio, please. Tell me about cancer dealing with a Scorpio November. Ooh, love messages for November 16th. Okay. We've got the seven of swords. We have the star card. We've got the ace of swords. And then we've got the 10 of pentacles. Cancer, you're dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, let's talk about it. Scorpios like to keep secrets. They are not always bad secrets. They are not, they're, they're just, they just like to keep things to themselves, okay? This may give you an appearance of them being sneaky. Oh my God, they're cheating. Oh my God, they're doing something behind my back. Not necessarily. They just like to be, you know, they just like to keep things to themselves, okay? Um, and with the star card, the ace of swords, the ten of pentacles, and then the hierophant under the deck, if this person wants long-term commitment with you, okay? But if you're going to be with a Scorpio, you have to understand that this person needs their me time. They need things that belong to them and only them. They, they're not, you know what I'm saying? They're very suspicious. They think everyone's out to get them. So they may think that, you know, they generally have this concept that they can't trust everybody. So this is someone that may not be totally trusting of you. So you may end up feeling like you can't totally trust them. Um, their intentions are fantastic. Their intentions are marriage, wedding bells, the whole nine, but you may feel sometimes that they're lying because of that characteristic. They're not. They're Scorpios. They just like to keep things to themselves and you have to love this person flaws and all and accept that that's a part of their personality. Okay, moving on. Well, you don't have to do anything, but you know what I mean, right? Okay, so 420. All right, let's see what we have here for my beautiful Cancer babies dealing with a Pisces, please, spirit. Love messages for November 16th. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Swords. We've got the Fool card, and we've got the Six of Swords. Okay, so... Hi, uh, Cancer, if some of you are dealing with a situation where moving or travel is required, 
to be with somebody, I feel like you need to take a rest here, okay? So if, if you and your person are in the process of moving or traveling and it's becoming overwhelming, you need to take a break here. Um, if you're scared as to this being a long distance relationship, um, don't worry about it. So one person is gonna move towards the other person, okay? Um, I feel like someone here is stressed out over commitment or whether or not things are gonna move forward or actually physically moving location. Four of Swords is under the deck. Stop stressing about it. Everything is going to be okay, all right? Take a minute, relax. Everything is going to be okay, all right? Everything is gonna move forward as it should. Okay, moving on. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with a Virgo, please. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Virgo, please. Cancer dealing with a Virgo, please. Love messages, November 16th. Okay, we've got the Queen of Swords. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Knight of Cups, and we have the Page of Cups. <laughs> okay, so Cancer, I feel like this is the progression of the day between you and Virgo. The day is going to start out with you guys being grumpy and defensive towards each other, okay? And then things get a little bit more, okay, well, fine, I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because the King of Cups is loving but controlling that emotion. Yeah, all right, I love you too, whatever, you know? And then as the day progresses, it's going to be a little bit more you know, kissy touchy and kissy touchy. And finally the, the, it's, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? It, and it goes back to the beginning of how you guys used to love each other. So do you, you see what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know why you guys are like waking up mad at each other or defensive. So there may be some type of argument in the morning, but then everything's going to cool down by the afternoon. Okay. All right. So moving on to Taurus, we've got seven minutes. Okay. Tell me about Taurus, please, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, Love Messages for November 16th. We've got the Lover's Card. We have the Five of Pentacles. We've got the Two of Pentacles. And we've got the Six of Pentacles. So, Taurus, if you're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like there was a connection here. I, I feel like this is someone new, okay? I feel like this is someone new. Maybe you had a one-night stand with somebody or maybe you had a great conversation with somebody and you really thought that this was, you know, going to go somewhere. You thought this was going to lead to higher levels of commitment, but I feel like someone here might be getting ghosted because they were actually juggling, okay? They were actually juggling. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I feel like you thought that you guys were on the same page with where you wanted to be. But someone here maybe was just interested in sex or, you know, they, they just they had they have other options here. Possibly this could have been like a rebound situation. Um, yeah, someone here just thought something was more than what it actually was. OK. All right. Moving on to Capricorn. Tell me. Tell me about cancer dealing with a Capricorn, please. November 16th, please. Love messages for Cancer and Capricorn. We've got the Four of Wands. We've got the Five of Cups. We have the Moon card. And we've got the Two of Cups. Cancer, you and Capricorn, whoever this couple is that I'm reading for, y'all making me crazy. <laughs> okay? Like, I don't know why Cancer and Capricorn stands out for me so bad whenever I do these. It's been so up and down. You guys, I think you, I think Cancer, if you're with a Capricorn, you guys are on a twin flame journey because one minute you guys are together, one minute you're hating each other. So we have someone here that is in deep remorse. Uh, two of Cups and the Four of Wands. I, I mean, it's like when you guys fight and separate, you guys can't stand being away from each other. You can't stand being away from each other. Yeah, someone here is about to communicate. Someone here is about to communicate. Four of Pentacles, Five of Wands. They don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, they don't want to fight anymore. So it, it's like you guys are just very on and off. And it might be due to a twin flame journey. Not for everybody, but I'm just saying. Okay. Um, let's do Leo. Okay, tell me about my beautiful Cancers dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Leo, love messages for November 16th. Okay, we've got the Three of Swords, 
we've got the strength card we've got the queen of cup oh no excuse me we've got the high priestess and we've got the four of swords okay so i feel cancer if you're dealing with a leo today um someone here is withdrawing from a third party Yep. Someone here is secretly withdrawing from a third party so that they can have peace with you. Okay. This person just wants rest in their life. So they're withdrawing. They're holding back from a third party so that they can heal things with you. Yeah. We've got the hanged man, the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands. I feel like it's been a while now that you've been waiting for commitment from this person or an apology or communication. They're coming towards you. The wait is over. They're offering real commitment. Nine of cups and the justice card and the death card. This person's going to come in and do right by you. You're, you're going to get your justice here. You're getting your wish fulfillment. There's definitely a change that's about to happen here. All right, moving on. Uh, 1050. Spirit, tell me about Cancer dealing with an Aries, please. Tell me about Cancer and Aries love messages for November 16th. We've got the Devil card here. We've got the Page of Pentacles. We've got the World card and we have the Judgment card. Cancer, if you are dealing with an Aries, again, a lot of communication coming in. I feel here that... Um, I feel like someone here is closing out a very toxic cycle. They're making a decision to close out a very toxic cycle. This may have been a friend or an ex or somebody younger than you. I feel like someone here is being shut out. I don't feel like this is you, Cancer. This may be what was coming in between you and your person. And I feel that someone here has shut somebody out. They've closed, like, listen, we could be friends, but you need to leave me alone now, okay? And I feel like I feel like this person is making a judgment call to get rid of somebody that's very toxic in their environment, which should make your relationship better. Okay, moving on. 12, 10. Spirit, tell me, tell me about cancer dealing with a Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Tell me about Cancer dealing with a Sagittarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cancer, we've got the Eight of Swords and the Magician. The Eight of Swords and the Magician. We've got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Cancer, I, I got to be honest with you, and I really am not one to jump on, on black magic. I'm not. And you know, I remember yesterday I had one that was like this too, and if I wonder if it was Cancer and Sag, because I feel like someone here is either using manipulation. Okay, so either someone here walks away and comes back, and, and it's becoming very manipulative. It's, it's bringing forth like a trauma bond. Okay, but I'm kind of getting maybe like a binding spell, like someone keeps walking away and I feel like there's someone here that wants to be chased. So I, yeah, I feel like, I feel like there may be, you know, someone here might be doing magic that they shouldn't be doing. That's not what I'm saying. You know, like it's not for everybody, you know, but I feel for the, for some of you, it's probably going to be that there is someone here that keeps coming and going and it's really starting to mess with your head. All right, moving on. 1340. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer dealing with an Aquarius, please. Love messages for November 16th. We've got the Sun card. We've got the Knight of Wands. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. And we've got the Knight, the, the Page of Swords, excuse me. Oh gosh, Cancer, if you have met a an Aquarius I feel like someone here is head over heels for you they this person might be a little bit younger than you um I feel like you might have a little bit more money that like one person makes a little bit more money than the other um you could possibly be a single mother okay um but I feel like this person is watching you like this person stalking your social media not in a bad way not like in a creepy way but this person likes looking at pictures of you like this is someone who's really like head over heels for you. Now, do I do what I say that this is leading long term as of right now, it just looks like they're really passionate about you and they want to pursue you. Okay. So whether or not 
you know, they're coming in for the real deal. I don't know, because they're showing up as a page. They're showing up as the Knight of Wands. You're the, the pre Empress energy, Nine of Pentacles. So just, you know, take that into consideration, okay? Moving on to Libra. All right, tell me about Cancer and Libra, please. Tell me about Cancer and Libra, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love Messages, November 16th. The Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. The Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Oh, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, someone here is about to... I feel like you split with this person and perhaps you tried to talk to other people. Those people are going to die. <laughs> yeah, this person is not having none of that. No, uh-uh, mm-mm. No, they're coming in to chase off any competition here. They're ready to offer you a new beginning in love. They're ready to offer you their heart and make this work. No, yes, he's seven of wands. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Nothing to see here. Go away. I'm back. Bye. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? They are not. Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Um, yeah. So, Cancer, I don't know, you know, who walked away from who here, but someone walked away and decided to give their attention to other people, and that snapped this person right into, let's get married. <laughs> like, that, that, that woke this person up, okay? So, moving on to Cancer and Gemini. All right, tell me about Cancers dealing with a Gemini, please. November 16th, love messages for Cancers dealing with a Gemini. We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got the King of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Wands. And we've got the Nine of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay, so Cancer, if you were giving a Gemini an ultimatum, either, you know, basically, you know, should or get off the pot type of ultimatum. Like, listen, do you want a relationship or not? If not, I, you know, I got things to do, right? I feel like they're gonna, they're gonna say they want the relationship. So this is giving someone an ultimatum is going to bring you a lot of happiness and wish fulfillment because they're going to choose. Yeah, they're going to choose you. They're going to choose this connection. Okay. Moving on to finance and career. All right, Spirit, tell me about finance and career for Cancer, please. November 16th. Okay, we've got the Justice card, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Emperor. Okay, Cancer, I feel like someone here tried to slow down or block your finances, okay? Someone here uh, tried doing that, but I feel like karma has gone back on this person. So when I say stuff like that, Cancer, it doesn't mean that there's a bunch of black people, you know, black robes, you know, like people in black robes walking around a goat sacrificing blood to make sure that you can't afford your groceries. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying here is you may have people in your circle or around you that, you know, just didn't have the best thoughts about you. Sometimes we give evil eye or malicious intent to people without even knowing that's how powerful energy is. So if your business was going really good and you were telling your friends and your family about it, which is only natural, nothing wrong with that, right? They were like in their head, maybe a little jealous or, you know, it, the, the, someone here wanted to block or slow down your abundance, but justice is being had here. And from what I'm feeling is, that's returning to them threefold and now you're at emperor status here and it's funny because you're like looking at these people like well that was a good try good try you know because it's like it's almost like you went from being the knight of pentacles to the emperor so let's yeah you know what i'm saying it's it's like you got three times more of the abundance than you had before and i feel like you know that's turning right back around on these people now with the nine of wands, the, the hanged man and the eight of pentacles and the 10 of wands. Now those people that wish bad on you are going to have trouble finding work. They're going to have trouble making things work in their life. And that has nothing to do with you. I mean, you're not sending that back to them. It's just, you know, usually the rule of thumb with these things, cancer is if you wish someone harm, it comes back to you times three, um, you know, and, and what will be restored to that person is times, times three. So that's why it's never a good thing to wish bad on anybody or to be jealous of anybody, okay? Um, all right, so let's do spiritual messages for the day. 
Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. November 16th, spiritual messages. We've got the King of Swords. We've got the Four of Cups. We've got the King of Wands. And we've got the Hierophant. Cancer, I feel like the Divine is telling you when you feel like you're alone, when you feel like there is no one there to protect you, okay? When you feel like people are playing with you, when you feel like people walk away from you, when you feel like things are being taken from you, and you know what I'm saying? You have this confidence that the divine is with you, that God is with you, yet you're always alone and you don't get what you want and all of these things are happening. The divine is telling you, I'm here. I'm here. You know, I'm here. Make no mistake, I'm here. And with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune under the deck, the Divine is telling you, you know, yes, sometimes I need to scramble up things in your life. Sometimes, you know, you're walking away from people. Sometimes people are walking away from you. But it's overall to achieve your Ten of Cups and your Wheel of Fortune. It's to get you to where you asked me to put you. Do you see what I'm saying? So, I mean, just look at it this way. Let's just say you're like, I want to move cross country. I really want to move cross country and then you know you get in a car and you're driving and you're complaining the whole way you know and meanwhile people are like well you wanted to take this drive like you know what I'm saying so that's how you have to look at it you want a ton of cups you manifested something in your life and the divine is like listen all of this needs to take place before I can get you there so it may seem like I'm not here it may seem like you're alone but you're not I'm here and I'm working in your favor okay all right so moving on to daily advice at 2120. Spirit, tell me about daily advice for November 16th for Cancer. We've got the Hanged Man, we've got the Page of Wands, and we've got the Three of Cups. We've got the Chariot, Cancerian Energy, the Tower, and the Ten of Swords. Cancer, I feel like you're going to be a little shocked today because somebody here has been, uh, someone here who has been waiting has finally started to realize that maybe they should talk to you about coming together, reconciling, hey, let's meet up. Um, they're thinking that they're going to come in and have victory with you, but with the Tower and the Ten of Swords, this person's in for a rude awakening because for you, this is over. Ace of Pentacles, you've moved on to something new. Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're not giving to this past person anymore because Cancer, you've moved on to something new and divinely guided. Now that kind of correlates with what happened happened in your spiritual message here, okay? Something may have been taken from you, and by the time it even comes back to you, you're going to be on to something so much better, something that you prayed for, something that you manifested, okay? All right, guys, I love you so very much, and I will see you soon. Bye.